Welcome to the reality of paragliding. Welcome back pilots. Today I'm at Butza, but the conditions are telling me let's go north. Butza north. I've only ever flown it twice. The first time was when I was on my Epic, red ribbon. Second time was a day like today where I could go to Harting, but I wanted to try this one and that was when I was on my base. Conditions today, about 15 km hour winds apparently, on launch and aloft. It's a pretty light, nice day. The clouds are saying plenty's happening. So who knows, we might catch a thermal and get somewhere. We shall see. Right, here we are. From here you can see Petersfield, very clearly over there. A bit of smoke behind it. Gonna be using that to tell us what the wind's doing ahead of us. We've got these lovely fields down here. This will be the official landing field right in front of us. Obviously, we've got this bump in front of us. If any wind's coming over there, or if I go too far in this way, I'm going to find some rotor. So I want to try and stay out this part. Wow, very light. A bit more easily than I was expecting. But it's improving. Could be risky. But let's give it a go, shall we? See what's out there. Ooh, we've got horses down there instead today. Right at the bottom. So I'm working this ridge. Not too far this way though, because as I said, it's going to get turbulent from the ridge in front. There's also not much fucking lift over here. Come on, let it be some lift somewhere. No? No. Right, now we can slope land here, but there is a lot to get the wing tangled in. And I'm not sure I even want to risk that. The lift is clearly not here yet. And I don't want to risk my wing. I would much rather a trip to the bottom. Safe landing. Don't worry about fixing expensive gear. So if I don't find anything on the way down, so be it. Let's push out. Who knows, we might just find something coming off this tree ridge in front of us. Love the rear riser controls. Just somewhere nice to put your hands and you're automatically flying more efficient. Just need aerodynamic forearms. Nothing substantial in this field. It's green, what do you expect? You are it, Dad. So I'm going to follow this tree line. And hope for something. No. Wherever that bump was, it's gone. Right, watch bird over there. Where's he going? He's soaring. Can't say I expected that bit of lift then. Oh, it's gonna stop your turbulent this low down to the tree line. Come on trees, give me that thermal I need. Back to the top we good. I don't think it wants to play ball. Okay, we've got some deer ahead of us there. A nice slope and a muddy field, but power lines. So this is my landing option. Let's not disturb the sheep, let's not disturb the horses. So 
that can be enough. I don't think it's big enough. I certainly turned the wrong direction for starters. There's a buzzer below us. Deer are scared. <laughs> Maybe they think I'm the size of a harpy eagle. This is where the scratching skills come in handy. Got to judge this very well though, because we're actually going to be landing a lot lower than this slope in front. Again, trees, come on, work for me. I'm too slow or it's too small? Now I'm getting low. <sighs> Damn it. All right, no more over those trees. We hit nothing. Not get too close to the horses, I don't want to scare them. Just need to make sure I've got enough space. It's gonna be a few S turns because we've got ground that's falling away. Take it easy. Let's not get too dynamic with this. I'm not sure I've got much choice. <laughs> There's something coming through here at the wrong damn time. Right, let's get those feet down. Let's swoop in. Let's keep that energy. Okay, hold that off. Let it sweep in again. Arms up. There you go, it'll level itself out this right. In with the flare. That wasn't so bad. So there's something happening. We've just taken off from up there. You can see two people walking along. Uh, we can't go too far over that way because of the wind direction. It starts getting turbulent too far around. So we've come down, we've worked oh, almost the other side of the ridge, worked that, and then we've worked this ridge of trees. Previous videos I've been talking about the high points. Obviously we're right here nice and low, but it's green. But we do have ploughed fields, brown fields up this way. So I was looking for this to suck it through. You got all these trees that will trigger it, including that field the other side. Seems to be something working there, but again, not enough. Pack up, walk up. Ah, the ever dreaded walk up. But you can't begrudge it when you've got such a nice countryside to be walking up. What are we here for, eh? Let's give it some. Uh oh. We have something caught up. Oh, shizer. Your man is stupid. I see what we got caught up. What a mistake at a maker. All right, well, now I'm out there. I'm gonna go forward, try the other side of that hill. All part of the reality of paragliding. Sometimes you're gonna get it wrong. I just didn't see that rigging issue. It's very unlike me. We've got triggers, but we've got no generators down here. Cows, but no way up that I can see of. Come on, let's have a little bit of lift, shall we? No, nope, apparently not. 
don't deserve any after that rigging issue. So I'm gonna head back this way, up and over the bottom landing field. And that was a wasted attempt because I wasn't rigged properly. Laddie love flying. We get to see stuff that no one else ever gets to see. <sighs> Down this way. Let's get on bar. <laughs> I fucking love this bar. Wow, 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 it's a very nice. Steer on risers. Oh my word. Can love it. Uphill landing off the bar. All that speed. Brakes, flare. <laughs> Let's walk it up here. Thank you again for flying with me. Until next time, I'll see you in the sky.